My name is Monty. My name is Laz. My name is Andre. And you're watching the LSDP. Does anyone notice anything different today? We look like love aliens. <laughs> love aliens? <laughs> Our love is out of this world. <laughs> Come find out. <laughs> oh, we throw in Hail Marys. <laughs> there's a, there's a, <laughs> no, uh, Jacob, what do you... No, no. <laughs> this amount of only males 18 to 25. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Leonardo. Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Well, <sighs> it's the third annual Brolentines. Tomorrow. That's right. By the time you're listening to this, hopefully you've already smashed, made an, a Scorpio baby. Oh, we. Yeah. You know how we feel about those Scorpio babies. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. Then we got Laz. Yeah. <laughs> a fly little fool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, nervous at all? For what? You feel a little shaky or something? Earthquake? What is that in the room? Who's vibe killing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris. So, <laughs> so who's your little friend there? Is oh, this league? guy. Don't pay attention to this little guy. <laughs> He's going to be quiet the whole episode. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <All right. laughs> uh, where should I take us today, boys? Do you have a Valentine's date yet? No I don't You well, don't last? Not like a, a date plan Oh okay but it, like A person My wife is Yeah my best time every year Have you asked her yet or no? No I don't do that Bro you're supposed I to that, Wait 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 I asked the day of Wait so you're just gonna wake up And then you're gonna ask her If you yeah. should be your valentine Yeah Wani what about you bro? <laughs> I don't have a valentine's But do you plan to ask anyone or? Nah Really? I Damn. don't. When's the last You're time? You're the prize. When's the last time you had a Valentine's? <laughs> they ask me. <laughs> the last time I had a Valentine's? Probably in like high school, man. Damn. Damn. Or no. You had I, a whole relationship. Yeah, whole probably. Couple relationships. Yeah, between. probably in my no. <laughs> in my last relationship. Mm. Okay, what about you, Zandre? Uh, yeah. Are you asking anyone this year? Uh, nah. When's the last time you actually asked someone? Uh, probably a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just a couple. Yeah. One time I asked this girl to be my Valentine's by, um, I got like the school proctor to go in the class yeah. and, and be like, hey, you come, come with out. me. Like the principal wants to talk to you or whatever. Mm. She didn't say anything, but she just thought she was in trouble and she goes out and then like I had like flowers uh, and chocolates. Social manipulation. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> had to do it. Nah, bitches were, nah, back in the day, people asked on the day of. Yeah, on the and, day of. And? Yeah. You, some of them even agreed before, like, oh, yeah, on Valentine's, you're going to... Hey, and, I'm going to ask you, okay? And, and Say yes. And that bitch would still take flowers from, like, two other dudes, you know? Damn, That's what? when you really found out when bitch, bitches were going to be little slores. Not the girls I asked. <laughs> mm, what's no, the, I'm not I saying, made sure I had them reserved. I'm just saying that's what I saw happen. What's oh, the worst okay. you could not say? Me, not me. No, not me. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Have you seen this? What's the worst yeah. you could say? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Get the fuck away from me, <laughs> creep. As if <laughs> It's a cold world out there boys It's a cold world Yes it is Not only is it a cold world out there for you boys But a couple ladies get the short end of the stick It's okay it's Brown Times 3 We're here We're all in this together Short end of the stick One time, one time, one time. What episode is this? 104. 104? It is 104. Who knows? I lost track. We looked up. Let's go, let's go. She said if this was my dream, you could stay the night. No, you stay away. You could stay the night. If this was my dream, never leave my set. You could stay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If this was my dream. Nothing better than catching one off the rip. Yeah, episode sure. 105. Ah, 105. Episode 105, episode 105. 105, look alive. We gotta get Chris a little tag, though. Like, my name's Chris. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's got his tag. Chris, do your tag for us for a quick. Say, my name's Chris, and then laugh. And we'll, we'll clip this, and then we'll make it your tag. <laughs> One, two, three, go. My name's Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Money, I told you you're the best. Sanjay, now you're my favorite. Oh, Chris, you're my favorite. Wow. You're so iconic. Sucking that dick like oxtails off the bone. Fuck you, me. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. I did want to come in here and apologize to my boy Monty. Oh, let's see. I want to know. Why. I want to know why. Uh, so one of the first, what did I miss? One of the first episodes we ever did on here, we asked each other like our top fives or whatever. Yeah. And he put Sway Lee on there, and we cooked him. Right. We cooked yeah, the yeah, shit yeah, yeah. out of him. <laughs> Turns out Sway Lee's one of the only artists to ever get a. A, a double diamond single in history. So him and Post Malone just broke a record. For that song Sunflower or whatever Yeah They, they, did, they the, didn't know <laughs> They didn't know <laughs> They didn't know Monty, Monty knew all along time. huh? Yeah I knew the whole time So you I want to apologize For cooking you Even though I, I still stand On on all of that <laughs> I do not think That he's That great But Damn, That I was a pretty That was a pretty shitty apology If you ask me <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, I think that it's actually Really cool that I didn't I would have thought That Michael Jackson Had like A single that was Double Diamond by now I'm telling you, dude, super talented. And only him and Post know, Malone. Also, Post Malone, dude. Yeah. Post yeah. Malone's fucking super talented. He's a right? great white. A great white. Great white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. He does little things that rub me the wrong way, but for sure, he's mm. not that mm. bad of a guy. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't. By that? I, I don't like the shit that he tattooed on his like head. The like, barbed wire. Like what? But, are you, but, but aren't you progressive? Oh yeah, but that's what, like your, his body, his choice. Yeah, yeah, but that's like insinuating your Jesus. Is it? To me, no, it's barbed wire. Or it's not, I don't think it's rose thorns. It's barbed wire, isn't it? Why put it there, though? Mm, <laughs> probably really high. Oh, well, besides, uh, yeah, I guess. But it's just things like that that rub me personally the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And him, like, coming in as a rapper and then leaving. Rubbing yourself the wrong way. That's what it sounds like. Nah, him coming in as a rapper and then. I don't blame him, though. Saying, like, oh, I'm not that. I'm like this. Well, because that I think I've heard a lot of people say that shit though. Like, oh, I'm not just a rapper. I'm a yeah, and that's so, true. I'm people like are artist. so quick to want to put people in, yeah. bo- in the box. Yeah, yeah, but a lot you you said it right on. A lot of people say I'm not just a rapper. His yeah. thing is I'm not a rapper. When you came in with fucking Allen Iverson braids and fucking gold grill in your mouth, could you be confused? Like some people, I think do that just like because they that's what they relate to being like a hip hop artist in America. Like I don't think people are like, oh, I'm gonna try to look quote unquote black or have like a black aesthetic. I think that's just like a part of like pop culture. If that kind of makes sense, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, if I, I don't know if anyone intentionally does it like. Oh, I want to like portray this fake thing. Like, I think genuinely at the moment they kind of feel like that's what's true. You know? I don't know. I and I don't, don't want to say he's an industry plant, but from where it looked, like where I'm at now, like I see, like okay, maybe they like told him, hey, you just got to do this to get on, and then after that, you could be whoever the fuck you want to be. But. That mm. in a way is an industry plan, right? We're gonna yeah. plug them in here as this. You have to get this tatted on on your forehead. Not not necessarily that. That's more like <laughs> cultish, you know. Yeah. It's more like, hey, like if if like a label took Zandre and was like, hey, we're gonna clean up your image and turn you into this type of guy. Put, I guess, tattoos on your face and. Well, that's what they did to Mike Posner. You know, you, Mike, you know who Mike Posner yeah, is, right? Yeah. Uh, that ah, what's that song? He had one with like Timberland or Justin Timberlake, one of those songs. He had one with Big Sean too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, he was like this rapper guy. Like he had like the buzz cut chains, you know, like the fit, and then like look like the old uh, Kelsey, <laughs> the old Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now fast forward, he's just like a regular like white guy, long hair, you know, like. But that that whole thing is weird. Like, I'm sure if there are artists where they're like, hey, you know, we have to cultivate you and throw you, put this image on you in order to make you marketable, you know? Yeah. But I think some artists are already kind of in that lane and then they get signed. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't blame Posey, is what I'm saying. He's a very talented artist in general. Yeah, for sure. Like, and he can make any type of music. So I give him a lot of credit because a lot of people can't do one type of music, you know? I forget what that album is called, but it's the one with the orange cover. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. That, Three bongs uh, and Bentleys, I think. Okay. No, no, actually, I could be wrong. That I album is know. like you could throw it on and not skip a song. Really great, really great album. Like not skip a song. Every single song is gonna be good. You might skip the ones that you feel like are overplayed, but it's still a great song, you know. Mm. But it's all unskippable songs. Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't blame him either. But I just didn't like how that happened. Like you came and took attention. Now and, when and he said, "I'm not a rapper." Rapper. And then anytime that someone like tries to like ask him about anything, that is just like shuts down the question immediately. So if he's not a rapper, <clears throat> what is White Iverson if he wasn't a rapper at the time? He's just a poet on a beat. I guess so. To him. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounded like a rap song to me. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you say? Depends what you identify rap as, but what? <clears throat> did you guys see that uh, Logic uh, interview that what, you did what, with his dad? I saw like a snippet with his dad. Okay, I, what, what, he was like putting his dad on blast <laughs> first. Should I play a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. play it, play it. There was a time when you came to me, asked me for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars to buy you a house studio for you and your band. Trippin'. Now I've also had my sister <clears throat> ask me to buy her a house. I've had my brothers ask me to give them money. I've given tens of thousands of dollars to my brothers and my sisters, and I've seen them piss it away. So when you do the math, right, and we did the math earlier today, exactly. it's you, it's my mama, it's my brother, it's my sister, it's my other sister, it's my other sister, it's my other sister, it's my <laughs> other brother, it's my other brother. Jeez, that's not, condoms, now let's yo. not talk about how many fucking kids all these people Fuck got, but let's just talk about those nine people. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm going to buy y'all a decent house, that's $500,000. That's for two people, $1 million, $2 million, $3 million, $4.5 million just to purchase that, let alone mortgage, let alone other bills that come into... Well, if you buy it, why would you have a mortgage? Yeah. <laughs> Shit ain't adding up, yo. Sounds like he doesn't want to buy them a house. You know, you've, you've talked shit about me. You've said, you know, Dad and Bobby don't help nobody. You've said this. I'm not saying you're saying it right now. No, no. I'm, I'm bottom you've line said it. Is, it's, it's been said by me before. Exactly. But the bottom line is what I realize is that you don't owe me a motherfucking thing. You don't owe me nothing. You know, and I, I, I had to come to the realization of that, you know. I gave you your talent, but my talent was given to me yeah. by my father, which is given to you by your father, For sure. which is given I to wanna, you. I want to get to the part where he like starts tripping on his dad. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm not a nigga. That wasn't was earlier. Hood with <laughs> yeah, he's, he's already tripping. Dude, I'm not. That's not yeah, who I am. Yeah, so with that yeah, being yeah, said, yeah, daddy. I got you. Daddy. Yo. Here we go. I think this is it right here. The thing that I've done. I never call because my I don't dad exploit daddy. Exploit the fact that I give, let alone to my black community. Mm -hmm. I'm not out here trying to prove my blackness. Mm -hmm. You Can know, I I'm not a nigga who goes to the hood with a fucking just... turkey every Thanksgiving <laughs> and throws it out. I'm not. That's not yeah, who I am. Yeah, so with that yeah, being yeah. said, daddy, I got you. when we spoke earlier today, daddy, again, I know there's a lot of motherfuckers time. even in our family. Who could be like, oh, Bobby, don't, you know, he got all this money. He got millions of dollars, but he don't want to help nobody. He don't want to buy nobody a house. Well, hold up. Let's just stay. No. All right. Well, uh, do you remember what he was telling him? Yeah, he was like, he's like, you tripping. And like, he started like straight fronting on him. Like if he was talking to one of his homies and shit. Then, <sighs> oh. Well, wasn't his dad not around? Like be his mom, drug, like a drug abuser and shit. This is what I've gone from he his music. Told, but he always said that you would. <laughs> What is it like as a man who used a substance that would allow you to make that little boy wait forever? The things in which, like, I... This is like something you don't Damn, put on dude, camera. I know. Yeah, He's putting yeah, his yeah. personal fucking life on there. Well, this is logic all in, like, one thing. Sus as fuck. Like, emotional as fuck. Let's us know way too much. Not trying to be black, but he's trying to be black. Like, <sighs> who understands this guy? Do you guys think he's exploiting his uh, his dad, <laughs> like for the sake of like content? Yeah, for probably. Sure. Yeah, like, well, he does anything for attention. Like, I think this one's pretty up there for me. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Where it's like borderline. Like, nah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, too much. He was but, talking uh, about things that, like, like the last clip that you put. That, oh yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. come on, dude. Like, I feel like his white boy kicks in way more than his black boy. Yeah, yeah so like yeah, yeah, his yeah. black card is taken away. I'm no one to say whose black card is revoked or anything, but <laughs> if I was a voter, I'd say I'd vote no for that. <laughs> like, you do way more white boy shit than you do like white black boy shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I that. yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I can see that. Uh, what, do, what do you guys think about doing that in general though like 
Like you having someone on and then like doing the thing is like talking about shit like well that. played. I think he's just trying to get clicks Watch. and turn heads. If it's, we were to ever get like really famous, mm-hmm. and I sat down and had a conversation with my mom, I feel like we'd have a very like very I've had different a, like we've had like really crazy situations happen in our life that like yeah we'd end up crying on camera. Would it be great content for sure? Would it be cringe? Probably, because why would I be doing yeah. that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, I'm sure if you sat down with your mom and, like, <clears throat> broke it down, like, those interviews where it's, like, you get into, like, the shit that maybe your mom's never spoken about in her life and that you've never told your mom. People are going to cry and people are going to say things and it's going to all be like this. It's going to be great content for the I, listener. I think, I think that, would, that would be valid. I think where it gets fucked up is, like, if I have, like, someone, like, in this case, like, if I were to bring my dad and, like, just start talking about, like, a bunch of, like, traumatic shit that, yeah. maybe and, like, and, like, towards him only. And, yeah, like, yeah, but maybe that was just a part of the conversation at that point, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they were just in that part of the conversation, like, well, I'm just shitting on you right now, and then later we're going to get to the part where you're shitting me on me as a son. I didn't listen to that shit. Yeah. But I'm just saying maybe the way the internet works, maybe that was just clipped from that part of yeah. the conversation where I'm just shitting on you right now. For all we know, maybe the whole conversation was him shitting on him, you know? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but uh, what do you think? Uh, is Logic in the wrong for uh, not buying his family all houses? Uh, nah, because nah. you can't like save everyone like that I guess you know what I mean I mean like I understand his his like w- uh, his argument would you guys feel like uh, forced or I guess I don't know the right words but forced to buy every single one of your siblings have you guys got on a house I've I've thought about it and like the only way I would do that if I would buy like an estate like if I really had that much money bro I would just buy an estate like a big fucking property and then just have like the family live there like you know? I, I probably like a have a big ass Rick Ross house. Yeah, yeah, yeah like one okay. of those. You know, like okay, you have a place to stay. Yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. But you're not in the, all individually getting your own houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. I would. I got a lot of brothers and you, sisters. You gotta be willing to move to Utah. Some crazy shit. Yeah, it only cost me fifty thousand for this <laughs> house like, right here. <laughs> or like, hey, I could buy you this big ass house in like in Georgia or like Tennessee. You know. Or Georgia. I could give you the equivalent to that house and then you put it down here and you, you fuck yourself at the end, you know? Yeah. And you're going to fuck me if you lose the house type shit. Dude, but pause. Or are you going <laughs> to fuck your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> nah, none of my cousins would ever get shit from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, uh, it's like, uh, it'll almost be like enabling though. What you about know, you? You, you wouldn't just... get all your siblings a house? Uh, it depends how rich I am. Well, say you could afford a house in a different state in Arizona for every single one of your siblings. And you still have money. Logic has enough money to buy his siblings a house. And off the first album, I, I assume that Logic has enough money to buy everyone in his family a house. Now, I'm, I'm pretty selfish. So I'll probably like buy a house and have it and be like, yeah, like if you need a house, you can stay at my house. Like my property over there. Yeah, that does sound like some money shit. You know? Yeah, it does. That's probably how I would do it. Yeah. I'm glad that you're you're coming to your senses. Yeah, I'm glad he's being for real. Yeah, you know. I feel like a couple like years that. ago you wouldn't have said this answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you would have gave us like a. You would have teetered yeah, around it. I would have bought like maybe like two houses and then they could <laughs> figure it out. Or now you're like one house is mine and you can stay here if you need help. Yeah, yes. I'm there. I'm. That's the way a lot of people do them. it. That's the way a lot of people do it. I mean, you're helping, you know? <clears throat> I mean, dude, if you just give people money and stuff, like how Logic said, he, yeah. just, he gave them tens of thousands of dollars, and yeah. he's seen them all just wasted, wasted. away, dude. They're having a lot of fun That's not... Money. Yeah, exactly, that, exactly. That's why I wouldn't give, like... I couldn't break my family dude, off what's the point if, with cash like that. Let, it, it would say, have to be a house, because at that point, like, what are you going to do, sell the house? Okay, and are you are you going to pay the bills for the house, or are they going to be working for that? Well, if they don't pay the bills, they don't lose the house. The lights just get shut off. The water gets shut yeah. off. That's, that's on that's, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't lose the house after I bought it. Well played. After you bought it. Yeah. Why do you really, really doesn't like this, bro? <laughs> he doesn't like his siblings, like, bro. Nah, the way that. I look at it is like me and my siblings went through it, like yeah, went yeah, through yeah. it in fuck the mud, guys. bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I'm the same way. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think the way I'm doing it is bad. No, nah, I'm not bro, saying hey, it is. Relax, hey, <laughs> <laughs> bro. What are you guys saying? If you I'm wanna, confused. You if you want to make your family me. pay rent, it's okay. Yeah, we're not. We're not. What the hell? Yeah, you gonna pay off this mortgage. 
<laughs> and then after it's still mine. Oh, no, shit. no, no. We're just we're just uh, listening to your opinion and we're seeing your, your perspective yeah. and we're like we're over here, you know. Andre's Andre shitting bricks. He's hanging on to his bear right now. Hard, but, so. but I'm like, but but I don't care. Like if that's like how you would go about like I, it. Like that's, a lot of people do it that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not saying that your way is better than mine. Honestly. No, we, my way is way better. If, if we keep it real, like, why would you guys even entertain that idea? <laughs> if we keep it real, I think that's the American way to do it. Like the white way, that's how they do it. Oh, yeah. They the wouldn't buy their family. So now you're calling me white. No. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm playing. It's just like the white version of doing <laughs> yeah. shit. Like, okay. A Mexican would give everything away to their family. I'm not saying yeah, a white yeah, wouldn't. Yeah. It just seems like a white would probably buy the house and rent it out. I'm not no. renting out my house no, no. to my family. I feel you. But you said I have a house. You can stay here if you want. If they're not staying there, someone's going to rent it. Right? Sticking out the Baby. tongue for the Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I think that it's up to you if you want to buy a house for your family or not. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. not a shitty person if you don't. Yeah, especially yeah. if you already gave them a shit ton of cash that they fucking ran through. That's the problem there. I would never break my family and, off and, with cash like that. And everyone's relationships with their family is way, way fucking different. different yeah. You know, that's why. You know, I can't expect everyone to share the same experience. Some people actually hate that. I'm not saying you hate your family. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Some people hate their family. You know what I would do before I buy a house? Apparently, I hate hate my family. That's not what I'm saying, though, bro. You just don't love them. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, but I think if I had money before I buy a house for people, I'd like probably sit my brother down with like an account and be like, okay, figure out his like his debt, pay off his debt. That's my like a. as oh, a brother, pay- like, okay, that's how I hope. Oh, paying, that pay, paying off, like, your family's debt would be fire, too. Yeah, uh, that way I don't have to give you money and depend on you to pay off, Get use the money what you told me on. Like, the calendar will sit down with every single one of you guys, will pay off your debt, and then now you, you guys can figure have it a fr- out. A yeah. fresh start. A fresh start. As long as you don't have no car loans right there stacked up. But even the car loans better than, like, a, a whole house. house. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? The wolves have hit the oh, fuck. I fuck a car loan that. as long as you don't have fucking school loans, bro. <laughs> nah, I ain't paying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't finish, Charlie. Bro, it's not my fault. You want to go to magician school, bro? I ain't paying for that. <laughs> magician school. <laughs> the wolves are in the village, my lord. The peasants are troubled. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about California passing a bill to allow people to start drinking on the streets? That's fine. Uh, that's fine. You think fire, so? actually. I, I think the more accessible shit is like the least like people have to be sketchy and like driving their cars around. You know what I mean? You if it's like out there already, you I don't think, think it'll like increase crime or anything at all? Nah, increase a lot of fucking. You think it'll lower For crime? For sure, at all? it'll lower what crime? Probably right Because all the uh, Yeah because you wouldn't uh, Go to jail for Drinking, drinking on the street anymore So yeah. it would lower crime Yeah Wait this is in California only Or what As of now yeah Because Vegas allows it You know Yeah And the Vegas isn't even that bad It's you know? not You go to like Fucking The, the strip. strip And you don't see anyone like But there's also cops Everywhere shit. there Is this in LA County <sighs> Uh, I think it's California I think they're gonna They're gonna test it In San Francisco And LA first though I was in San Diego last on Friday night. Uh-huh. How I was, was that? I was drinking on the street. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, but like openly or like you were hiding. I was trying hand. to be low key, kind of. But I was just uh, in the like. This guy, I'm saying, I was drinking on. Why are we? Oh well, I guess we are talking about the topic, but I was like, why is this fool telling us that he was drinking on the street? No, <laughs> we're talking about the I topic know, I just, now. <laughs> how'd you uh, end up in uh, San Diego? This is my cousin's birthday. Oh. We went, uh, he got an Airbnb for the weekend. It's just, ah, it's well played. Where'd you guys go? Just downtown? Uh, yeah, I like Gaslamp. Hey, uh, w- did you guys see that, um, that uh, Chewy Montana shit? Chewy Montana? Damn, that shit is crazy, bro. No, I, what is that? Tell me. Uh, S- so Chewy Montana, you know who JLP is? Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Like, is, Forza yeah, Regida? Yeah. So there was a, like an old vlog of his where, they were crossing the border back over from Mexico and they stopped. You know how there's people selling shit and singing and shit? Like, like in... In the line mean? going oh, back yeah, into yeah, Mexico. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this guy who that fool was singing to, to JLP and he liked who it was. It was Chewy Montana. He liked like his voice. And, and he signed him right there. Like, 
like he's like just put your name on this blank paper and your fucking sign yeah, to the industry. sign your life away to me but he signed them and shit and then what months later now maybe like a year he's he's kind of blowing up but they find him dead on the side of this fucking road and TJ it looks like they were fucking bro I seen the fucking body on reddit it's fucking Same. crazy mm. bro I think they said that he like tried jumping don't out of the car. Don't send a JOP, yo. Yeah. You end up on- <laughs> <laughs> well, the crazy part is that that fool not too long ago was getting death threats from down there. So I'm assuming like if they can't get J- JOP. JOP, oh, okay. Him and Peso Pluma. So if you can't get the guy, you get the guys around yeah. him, you know? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation going on around the whole fucking topic because like obviously it's the internet, you know? So everyone just throws out like shit. And see what sticks, you know, because it was weird. I don't know if you saw they got like uh, arrested in TJ like literally the day or two days before. I think that night, yeah, they got arrested for when they were coming back for having like ten grams of weed or some shit like that, trying to or going into the U into Mexico with weed. Yeah, oh, so that happened, and then like I think the day the next day or the day after they killed like his artist, which is really weird. It's like weird timing, you know. I mean, Mm -hmm. I don't even think they like killed. I mean, he's dead and shit, but. They were torturing him and he couldn't take it anymore. And really? they just dumped him on the side. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Oh, shit. Like, if you see the body, bro, it's like cuts. Like, it looks like they were torturing the shit out of him. Oh, fuck. So, <sighs> and there's no facts here. We don't know none of this yeah, shit. Yeah, you're right. because, no facts, no facts, like no you said, there's people just throwing shit out there and seeing what sticks. But from the fucking picture of the body that I seen, that shit was fucking insane, bro. Oh, my bro. God. Damn. And have you guys seen the movie Hostel? It's about nah. like torturing and stuff like that. Fuck no, dude. No. Would, like, oh, I, I can't. And the worst part is that he had a song. Maybe we can find it and shit. But yeah, where he was like, um, oh, you have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he pretty much predicted his own death. Like, he the song starts off by saying like, oh, like, mom, if you're listening to this type shit, uh, I'm I'm probably sitting in a puddle of my blood. Like. Some crazy shit, bro. Like predicted okay, his own. So he death. saw it coming. Well, yeah, bro. When you're those those fools make like narco corridos shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Those they're fools, in, they're the big the dogs, kidnap them and like, hey, bro, here's a stack. Make a song about me. Let them go. And then those fools have to come up with a song because they have to come up with a song. Yeah. Oh, that's scary, man. It better be a good song. <laughs> Good. That was really good. But imagine being his mom listening to that. <sighs> Fuck. You That's know? how I started the song. My body, like, yo. Mom, you're probably sad right now. Yeah, no, I know. Imagine her listening Fuck. to that right now. Like, oh, uh, that's horrible. And that's horrible. I, I, now that pretty you pretty fire though. You mentioned yeah. the, not a lie. You mentioned the like, song. Them stopping at them at the border the day before. Now I feel like, why would you want to go? They were gonna get him. I'm sure if he would have gone down there and they wouldn't have stopped him. Because that's not the first time they get they killed this bodyguard not too long oh, ago. You're right. And he wasn't even in the car. The people just started dumping on the fucking Dude, car and the shot hell? his fucking bodyguard. JPs? JOPs, yeah. JOPs? So, I mean, yeah, like... I, f- I feel like his parents are probably fucking tripping. That, dude, I'd be scared. Like, I, just if I was in that circle group or, like, anywhere, yeah. like, attached to that... Attached to JOP, like, yeah. you're in danger, basically. Well, those fools go down there, like, probably... Pretty often. Yeah, and they probably go down there, like, well-connected, you know? Like, the cartels probably are their bodyguards down there. Yeah. But still, like... But over, there's other cartels. Over, yeah, over there, people turn turn their backs on you for nothing, you know? They'll set you up. Yeah. yeah. Even for those a little cartel ma- For some money, for, you know? Yeah, all that shit is wild. For as much as we don't... as For as much as we don't, like, uh, like rats in our mm. in our culture, down there, those fools be telling on each other and turning each other... On each other all the time Hey I, I didn't say that You didn't hear that from me well, Me either but <laughs> Yeah no facts No facts 
But <sighs> it's been noted like in government papers like, oh, this fucking cartel leader was caught because this cartel leader gave him up. Yeah. Yeah. All that shit is pretty it's wild. Twisted. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I hope uh, like RIP him. Hopefully yeah. like shit like this. JLP stays away from shit like this and he just stays in the States because I can imagine his mom calls him every day and begs him not to go down to Mexico anymore. Yeah, no, what the heck? I I wouldn't want that. my son to, you know, keep be in that kind of danger, yeah. especially with like what you keep seeing like repetitively, you know? There's a pattern. I think he's made enough money to like not, not have to have do to that go. shit. Yeah. yeah. But maybe he goes for the thrill. Maybe he Fuck goes because, yeah. you know, when you're on that level, you're just... Like, what else you got left to do, you know? You have it all. You want to experience, like, adrenaline, probably, or I'm and what, not what, sure. And what do they say? You become who you're around or some shit like that? Like, because I'm sure that... I'm not going to say he's not hood. He grew up in San Bernardino or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, for sure he's ghetto, you know? For sure he's mm-hmm. ghetto. Mm-hmm. But he's not about that life that he's... I mean, maybe he is now. Mm-hmm. But once... Like, he was young when he started doing this shit, so fantasizing this shit like and being able to be a part of it like and now you become it like yeah there's no reason for you to be doing all that shit like bro you're from yeah it's like Bakersfield or San Bernardino it's ghetto and shit but it's way better than that lifestyle that you're trying to chase down there bro yeah I I see who knows who knows some what I don't know anything about this shit you know but it could all just be business too like business ties or fucking promises you've already made you know and like who knows who know who knows how much business he's already like he has lined up you know for the following couple months or whatever you know yeah but as a lead singer wouldn't you want to protect your band bro because they keep they keep they keep getting closer and closer to him his bodyguard his artist yeah what's next like and those fools aren't scared to come over here and catch your family like Bro, all they got to do is catch a body and go back. Those fools don't care about that shit. They will really cross the whole fucking border to fucking come catch a body and just go back, bro. Yeah, yeah. they have that. They have yeah. that ability. Yeah, I, I agree. They don't. They'll do it. They'll do it. So they got to just... He just got to figure out what like what his interests really are and where he really wants his career to end up. Because yeah. that Harley Quinn song with fucking that, that DJ... like Yeah. That's just, yeah, that's just probably like one of his greatest songs. Mm. And it isn't like a Mexican like regional song. Yeah. He li- it, well, yeah, exactly. Like the state of music and where it's in and like how much money he has behind him. Like he doesn't have to like resort to like all the, I don't want to say like messy shit, but like, you know, all that, affiliate, all that affiliated shit. You know mm. what I mean? Like you're already, I would say not, maybe not worldwide, but he's international for sure. You know what I mean? He's yeah. an international artist. And it's kind of hard when, like... They are, Fuerza Regida and yeah. as a whole. See, like, there's been, other, there's been other artists like that, like, say, like, even when you don't want to be a part of it, like, these people will kidnap you, mm-hmm. hand you a bag of money, kick you out their car, and now you're required to because they gave you this money even though you don't yeah. want to. That or, like, um, uh, you, you've heard that thing where, like, they... Um, I don't, I don't know who does it, but like the cartel or someone down there when they're crossing drugs, they like cut, like uh, they slice a kid's body open, put the drug in there, stitch him up and boom. They oh, use them as like human. Like, I've never heard of that. No? I have, I have. Dude, yeah. It's crazy. Wait, wait, but how do you transition? <laughs> Is it? Well, because you were talking about, oh, they give you a bag and you have no choice but to go like mm-hmm. send it. So it's kind of, that, that shit happens all the time. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's... It's dark. It's really dark. So even if he didn't want to be a part of it, at some point, like, now all his songs are about, like, somebody down there that's, like, pushing heavy weight or means something down there. The thing also is, like, uh, okay, he obviously got influenced, right? And uh, influenced into that lifestyle or whatever. And now his music is influencing, like, think about how many kids he's influencing to also do that. And, and you know, well, look at all those Edgars. That's what he influences, bro. Uh, the Edgars? Yeah, like that's like honestly JOP is barely now getting big big like yeah. like yeah. known worldwide, but all these kids have loved him for like years already, bro. Mm. This guy yeah, was yeah. a big vlogger like Same thing like with rap music and and shit when they talk about like gangs shooting, killing, yeah. you know, all that. It's, it's the same thing. They're just influencing like 
children yeah, like yeah, down yeah. the wrong path well just because you make music doesn't i don't think it's like uh, i think it might be more the lifestyle that but you but don't think that has a, an but influence? But there's a lot of Edgars out here making really fucking good music that's not like attached to any of that. Yeah. You know, any of the affiliated shit. But you don't think music has an influence like that? Yeah, of course does, I do. Yeah, does. of course I do. We've seen it. We've seen it across the board. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the first time that we've seen so, like something and do you blame, happen do you blame the, the artist? Like, no, no, you gotta, no. I see like a lot of... Kids are impressionable as a whole already. But you can't blame the artist. Because I've seen like a... A big group of people on like Instagram. One time I seen a, a post of like, uh, it was like, do people blame Future for Juice World's uh, mm. death? No, you you can blame the artist. You and can. And then a lot of I was like, nah, there's no way you can blame. What the fuck? Like, Duffo decided to, to down all those pills because he didn't want to get caught. But then like they're like, oh well, Juice World came out in the interview and said that the only reason he tried drugs was because Future. Yeah, so you can blame the artist. The artist is who influences you. But this is years later. Do you still blame Future for his death? Like, I guess, like, he uh, influenced him to try it, so now he's stuck in... Well, no, like, it's not Future's fault that he died. He had his own decision. He was his own person, you know? He did it out of his own free will. Yeah. He decided to make those choices, you know? He fell for the trap. That's what happened. Like, I'm not saying Juice World specifically, but, like, you know, people who fall under the influence and end up like uh, following their favorite for their favorite artist lifestyle yeah, like they yeah, fall yeah. for the trap you know I see it, well, I've definitely said it on here I've definitely tried alcohols because certain artists have like pushed in yeah shit, see like, so you can't blame the artists they're the ones promoting this shit they're the ones pushing this yeah the most but yeah it's just you gotta I don't know it, you gotta have a good head on your shoulders. You got yeah. you have to have like the right role models. Yeah. That JOP That's shit, so important. Yeah, that JOP shit is a trip too, because we've seen that story already happen before. Like with Adan Chalino Sanchez. I mean Adan Chalino uh, Chalino Sanchez and his son, Adan Chalino Sanchez, Valentina Lizalde, like Jenny so, Rivera. This so this shit has already happened a couple times, you know what I mean? So I think that's why the story is a fucking trip, you know? Just because it's yeah. like it's getting closer and closer and all that shit. And like to the artist shit, like I think I did see Russ arguing that point too. Of like Juice World said, like, "Yo, I tried lean the first time because of you, you know, because I've fucking dipped my blunt in codeine before, thinking I was doing something just because like a little Wayne, you know. But at the same time, it's like I For tried sure. it, but <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I'm pretty but, sure it's with you guys. But like, <laughs> but I, and I tried it, but I was never like. Oh, all right, I gotta do more so I can be like Lil Wayne. No, like it was just like an experience. I gotta lace my butt with heroin. Like, I think you can only put so much fucking uh, responsibility on yeah, the artist, yeah, man, you know? I, because I, music I is subjective. Because music is subjective, bro. <laughs> so it could do any like different things to different people. You know what I mean? For so, sure. To just be like, just because of this one occasion, and it's a big occasion because Juice World, you know, was sad to see. Yeah. But also, you could blame that shit on his homies, on his fake homies for like letting them swallow the pills and all that shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can only put so much blame. Damn. That's true? Yeah. That is true. But I can say what you know. Uh, what so what's know? more influential, you think, video games or music? Oh, uh, it's probably music. Music, for music, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So music is. You think school shootings are caused more by music or video games? I think the internet causes yeah. school shootings okay because a lot of people Screen blame time a lot of people uh, blame school shootings on like uh video call, games call of duty call of and stuff. Nah, i played all those games growing up i played james bond since i was a little boy bro i wasn't like trying to fucking kill anyone in irl you know yeah, yeah. like, For real, like yeah. that shit's like some psychological shit that i think a lot of like uh the internet has to do with i think if i think there's a lot of kids who like their parents give them a tablet and then they grow up on it they're on that shit all fucking days just warping your fucking mind like if me as an adult if i'm too on it if i'm on it for too long like it starts like bothering me or you know i get like a little anxiety and shit oh, i'm on my phone too much and shit like that and that's me as an adult that i can recognize like these tendencies you know what i mean so yeah. i can only imagine what it's doing to a fucking little kid yeah you know, I have to, like when i take my brother to the to the like first physicals and shit uh, the doctor always says like, "Yo, how how much screen time is he getting?" He's like around three or four. He's like, "We have to minimize it to like one or two because like there's a lot." Like the doctor tells me is there's a lot of studies being done on like the fucking harm of the internet on like 
uh, uh, brains that are still developing and shit like yeah. that. There's, it does a lot of harm and all that. So like, I can only imagine what it's doing because we're the first fucking well, generation. Well, the internet of kids. influences you. But a lot yeah. of harm, but really because some of these little motherfuckers are smart as fuck, bro. And it's oh, all yeah, because yeah. of the technology that they're well, able to use. I think it's use. a double edged sword. It is a double edged sword. You know. So what is it hurting? I'm saying like, maybe what what do we use? How many? What percentage of our brain do we use? Ten. We only use 10%? Yeah. What if this no is facts. helping us use like a little bit more? Have they done studies on that? No, I, and I don't think it does help you do a little bit more. I, I think As a kid learning all this shit, maybe like... Does it mean it, that it you're doesn't using, mean that you're using more. It just means that you have more like knowledge yeah. of things. Yeah, you're more accessible so to knowledge. So it doesn't mean these that you're using kids, more percentage. These little kids that know everything and get like graduating at like in ninth grade. Yeah, when but those, that's not like everyone though. They're probably using a little bit more of their brain, right? Maybe there are people that use a little bit and it's more. Because they're a lot smarter than people. Well, right? no, there's some people who are more academically gifted. That's just because, true. Just because they're academically like smarter doesn't mean that they're intel- yeah. more intelligent. They can retain more you know? information, probably. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. I actually see someone argue: Is a kid that gets an A in the class smarter than the kid that gets a C in the class? Mm, depends. Or was the kid and the, it, the kid about. that got a C just lazy for not studying as hard? I mean, yeah, it th- no, it doesn't mean that he's smarter than the kid that gets a C. I don't, I don't think that's. What that's about what the kid means. that gets an F? Is the kid that gets an F dumber than the kid that gets an A? Or no, is- I don't think so. Like so- it, it, in regards to what? In regards to school, yes. If you're gonna base it off that <laughs> test, yes. But in real life, that doesn't determine if you're smart or dumb. That's true. true. So why do we too. grade these kids? Because why do we get graded? If- because it's like a. It's a uh, you know it's like an brainwashing. Level. It's like brainwashing. you're trying to get these people like to like focus and um to just follow rules and stuff like. Because I could say I got S and that's why I could have definitely passed the test if I studied just a little bit. You know, if I would have studied just a little bit, I definitely would have got a better grade than the F. And yeah. I was way smarter than some of those motherfuckers getting good grades. I mean, and they were just studying some people, hard. Some, some people just have a lot more structure. That's what it is. Yeah. I was I see someone is. argue that and I've been thinking about that. Nah, like people confuse uh, education with intelligence. People confuse those two things. Big mistake. Big mistake. You played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do we think about uh, it being over two decades since uh, China? So China's been our number one provider for all of our uh, things in America. Yeah. And for the first thing and. What is the first time in like over two decades it's gonna be Mexico? Providing things for America. Our things? Yeah. For the first time? For the first time. More well, of our things are coming in from Mexico uh, than they are from China. I think it'd be easier, cheaper, the right next door. We don't gotta like ship it through the ocean. There's you know? gonna be a lot of uh tags that say etch on Mexico, yo. You know, you're really starting <laughs> to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think that's a problem. I, I'd rather be, like, cool with our neighbors, you know, or have good business deals, like, with our neighbors, I right? think we just and ran up our bill over there, and we couldn't get another fucking up, loan. We ran you know? up the credit? <laughs> yeah, low key. Like, oh, shit. They're like, fuck, we got to just go over here in Mexico. Do you guys see that uh, Tucker Carlson interview? Nah, what is that? No, you guys didn't see that at all? Uh, I Yeah, I've heard of it. I didn't see the with, whole thing. Uh, but Putin? I Putin? Yeah, yeah. And Putin pretty much gave his point of view of, like, the what's going on and stuff the global status yeah the status yeah, of the- it is kind of like whoa kind of like eye-opening as in like what is it though well he he well of, of course everyone knows about the russia ukraine war you know so yes. mm-hmm. it it's a weird time for like an american journalist to like just be in russia and like mm-hmm. interview putin who is uh according to like American propaganda is like this big bad guy, like fucking kills his enemies, you know, kills journalists. Mm, who sounds talk just shit like on. us. <laughs> mm. So, so this is how America paints Putin, right? So, yeah. like, uh, the world was kind of like, like in a halt, like, yo, what the fuck, Tucker Carlson? I don't know if you guys know who he is. Yeah, the guy who got kicked off of was it Fox? Fox, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like Elon Musk signed him to Twitter to X, and now his show is on X. But anyways, he went to Russia, and a lot of people were criticizing him, you know, because it's like. Why would you give Putin the platform to like Speak. spew spew yeah. his Russia propaganda to like an American audience, you know? But um, it was an inter- interesting uh, interview. Hillary Clinton was like talking shit on Tucker and all this shit just because he's like 
he's playing you like he's using you you're a useful idiot but then like people on the other side are saying like yo why is it when like um other journalists in the past have gone to like interview people who we were at war with like it was like amazing journalism but since it's going against like the democratic the agenda like, agenda yeah it's like it's a big problem it's fu- they now they're like discrediting him yeah and, like, you know saying like oh tucker is a fucking dumbass there's a part in the interview where uh the, Tucker's asking Putin questions, right? Yeah. And then Putin responds to him, like, uh, there was some information about him, like, trying to sign up for the CIA and shit. And Tucker's like, oh, fuck, like, this one knows a lot more about me than, than I thought, you know? Because he brings it up casually, like a mob boss, you know what I mean? Like, when someone drops, like, a secret on you that, like, how the fuck would this person know this, you know? Yeah. And, like, to his face was like, oh, shit. But it was a pretty interesting interview. A lot of people were fucking... Um, well, there's mixed emotions. But I think a lot of Americans are like, hmm, how much of like this American propaganda is real? You know, what's really yeah. going on in the world? Bro. And then Russia, oh, Russia said that, or not Russia yeah. said, but like Putin said that like he's been trying to join like NATO for like the longest yeah. time. Bro, so you said propaganda. Sorry to stir this away, but I've been trying to remember to bring this up on the pod for like a couple of weeks. I have a customer who... He was telling me his job is to make propaganda for the government. I think you told us this before. And like, nah, I just found this out like a couple of weeks ago. He's like, bro, I've been trying to quit, but it's like the only, th- he like edits videos for propaganda. It's like, I feel like shit, the shit that they we're putting out is insane. I was like, damn, bro, this is fucking, like, obviously I knew propaganda existed. Yeah. But like, now I know people that make it. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like... It's just content for, like, the nation. Yeah. But it's like... Like I said, I knew it existed, but it's so insane that, like, people really, like... Well, not just people. We, like, take it with a grain of salt. Chris, what's that movie, uh... You know which one? It's an old movie. It's about, It shows, like, uh, the guy puts on the glasses and he sees the world for what it really is. You know which one I'm talking about? How old? Uh, 1990s, maybe the 1980s. Oh, Jim Carrey, Truman Show. No, it's no. Uh, oh. it's like uh, we can see or fuck. But anyway, it's about this guy who I think I've told you guys about this. How he puts on the glasses and he's walking down Times Square, and now everything he looks at looks like really real. Like a billboard would say, like buy, buy, buy. Oh, okay. You know, like straight to the point. So yeah. It's, it's, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, an, it's an interesting thing, but in the show, like it kind of tells you, or it shows you an example of like propaganda and how much it's thrown inside your face like every fucking day and you don't yeah. even notice it. You, you, yeah. you, you walk past it like, like it's nothing just because like you've been so conformed and shit, you know what I mean? But everything's uh-huh. trying to sell you something. Everything's redirecting you somewhere else. Like yep. it, it's fucking, it's a trip. So it's yeah, it's, I completely believe that this whole propaganda shit exists. You know, it's existed forever for as long as we. The live, the live. They live. They That's live. what it's called. They live. Yeah, interesting movie. You guys should. I never seen it. So, yeah. Oh, you, oh, I think you'd love it. I know you're one of those movie connoisseurs. Okay. okay. But yeah, one of those meals. Yeah, like <laughs> Putin has been trying to join NATO for the longest time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they keep like just saying like we keep saying like oh not now or uh-huh. something like that like yeah. That's you, what that's what Putin was saying. You guys, you guys remember that old interview? I played it on here where he was talking. Uh, Putin was talking to like the Russian people at a conference or like at a meeting, and he was telling them like all this shit about the West and like look what they're doing over there. Like they're fucking allowing pedophilia. They're letting their kids transition yeah, sexes. Yeah, a lot of people were like. Uh, which a lot of ta- that ta- shit was yeah. a big topic it was and it's real. now not being talked about well, at all. Well, this is why they criticized Putin because he's like, he, you were talking to Tucker Carlson, but you didn't mention like what's going on in America. And then uh, Andrew Tate, he came out and he was like, oh, I analyzed this shit. Like, it seemed like he wasn't really trying to like, inter- because there's this saying like, well, what is it like? Don't interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake. You know, like, I yeah. felt like there was a lot, like, he, when he addresses the Russian people, he'll talk about the West. But when he's talking to the West, he's not be like, hey, this is where you're fucking up, and then you're fucking up over here. Because you're like, yeah. you know? Okay. You're giving them, I like, see. the upper hand, if that yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. I see. So, yeah. It was an inter- interesting interview, you know? Oh, stirred, stirred up Andrew. The, stirred up the economical pot a little, or the geopolitical pot a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. 
Well, we better hope they don't join forces with Mexico because oh. then oh, we'll get invaded. Yeah, then now they have like closer ground to us, you know. It's for sure. But well, did, oh, did and then he also in the interview he also mentioned like he also brought up the fact how like California, Texas used to be Mexico and stuff like that, talking about borders mm-hmm. and stuff. Like he really stirred the pot in that one. Oh yeah. Imagine if uh, we go to war with Mexico, like we we'd probably they put it they probably put us in uh, Mexican internment camps. Us? Yeah. You gotta you, catch me first. Yeah, well, you guys don't remember like World War Two and like they're like, oh, we can't trust any of these fucking motherfuckers. Like, put them on camps. You guys well, don't remember any, that? Anyone that looked Asian, they threw yeah, them in the camp. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And even if you weren't J- Japanese, exactly. If you were just Asian, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Hawaiian. That sucks. Get in here. <laughs> Filipino. <laughs> oh, Native Filipi- American. Filipinos are Asian, bro. Nice don't, try, buddy. Don't be that way. <laughs> Filipinos are Asian. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> oh, he was trying to say like they weren't. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. let's try. You guys got it all mixed up. But anyways, <laughs> nah. you, you brought up a movie. I wanted to bring up a show. I told Chris about it. I, maybe you guys have seen it. It's on Netflix. Have you guys seen? Uh, it's called Nothing to See Here in English and Ojos de Huevo in Spanish. No. Whoa, Bro, that's you, like completely yeah, different yeah, yeah, yeah. translation. Bro, you guys should watch it. It's fucking funny. Nothing to see here. When did it come out? Like probably within a year ago, within okay. a year, what's a couple it about? months. What's it about? So I'll give you guys what it's about, and then you guys decide if you guys want to watch it. It's about a blind kid, like blind grown guy, that wants to be a comedian, and he moves to the Mexi- to the city of Mexico, with his best friend who has cerebral palsy. What's what's cerebral palsy? It's like a. You know the you remember Breaking Bad, the son. The twinkle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like so it's like a blind guy and a fucking guy. Okay, <laughs> and they're like, yeah. And that's that's funny to you. It's hilarious. You should watch it. You make me sick. <laughs> you guys should watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, you guys have any show recommendations? I need to watch a couple shows for Valentine's. People need to know what to watch for people need Netflix, Netflix and, and chill. chill. Come on, Netflix. And did you guys know that some girls get horny when they watch scary movies? No way. I yeah. swear. I've, Sounds like sense. I'm gonna have to suck it up, yo. <laughs> well, throw on uh throw on the the throw haunting, on the exorcism. The haunting of Hill House. <laughs> that shit is fucking legitly scary. The haunting of Hill House. I want her to get horny, not scared. <laughs> well, this is what I'm saying. No, she'll be horny like it's a biological. Scared, bro. It, so, it sounds like Monty, uh, it sounds like Zonder don't want any of you guys to get laid, yo. It's a biological <laughs> <hot> <laughs> <this> movie, trust <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, Your all girl's right. gonna find out You're a pussy If you watch that <laughs> shit bro <laughs> What about you You got any recommendations For Valentine's Day For these people A movie to watch No I don't Or I shows I haven't been watching Haven't been watching anything man Chris no Chris, Chris what about you man Anything Chris? Chris people No nothing You guys are not helping The people get laid For Valentine's Day hey, Whatsoever Chris. No if I can't get laid Nobody can Give them a stand up I know you know A, a good stand up to watch Chris stand up Yes That's a show right yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Never mind, bro. He's blank. He's the blank. one time we go to you. <laughs> you know what's a really good movie to watch? It's a. Uh, what? The Notebook. Yeah. The that notebook. one's good. I've or, never seen that. I've never seen that. Or, or, fi- or see, 51st Dates. 51st Oh, for Adam Sandler. Forgetting, yeah, Sarah, yeah. forgetting Sarah Marshall. That's mm, a good one, too. Yeah. These lovey dovey ones, right? 51st Dates was a really good movie, yeah. though. It was really good. You know what? I actually remembered uh, Chris sent me a video that I wanted to show you guys. What, what was it? Let's see. Chris, Chris, Chris. Uh-oh. Oh, Chrissy. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. Reminds me of this guy <laughs> <laughs> called Christopher Columbus, yo. Christopher Columbus. Let me tell you about what he, that guy used to do. Hold on. Let's see. Back in the day. And there's the video. Oh, I'm not plugged in. Here, I'm going to send it to you, Zandre, and you play it. But it's a Vince McMahon video that oh, okay. that Chris sent me. He, he's like, "You ever seen this?" I was like, "Actually, I haven't." I never Interesting. Seen it but it's insane. Okay. I'm sorry to to Vince McMahon in advance, but I'll uh I'll see for myself. Go ahead and play this. Oh, Whoa. you can send it to me. <laughs> I sent it to you, bro. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> well, right. unfortunately. Vince McMahon is still out here getting his name let's see, let's shitted see. on. I see. And I say unfortunately, Believe but not really. There is sexual harassment amongst the wrestlers or employees at the World Wrestling Federation today. There is a possibility of that. That's why I have these uh, independent investigators to come in 
Investigation. And who are these and independent investigators? Fairfax Group Limited. Would you therefore believe that because of all these allegations coming forward and more and more corroborating evidence proving that there's no doubt sexual harassment is running rampant in the World Wrestling Federation, that you are definitely going to come public and do something about it? Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Because you haven't done anything about it until it became public, because you thought it because was underwater. Because I had no knowledge of it. I made knowledge of it to you when I was fired, and you just blew it off and let me go. You I retained a lawyer. Because you were not very good. You were not a very good announcer. <laughs> Damn. Well, in his defense... I didn't sleep with your vice president. Two weeks later, I'm fired. Why didn't you say right then? Why didn't you say, hey, look, Vince... Your, your vice president made a pass at me. You never told me that. No one had any knowledge. Human resources had no knowledge of that. Rene Dubose was waiting to hear your story. Why did you wait six months? You asked me for $160,000 today, otherwise you were coming on this program. I'm happy Excuse you're me? on this program. Mr. McMahon, do not try to deflect the truth here. First what are you foremost, asking for? How much money have you asked for? I have never asked for any amount of money from you. You have tried to buy me off to shut up so I wouldn't come forward and tell of these allegations that's running through the World Wrestling Federation. Damn. So they've been that fool still that had fool. black hair and shit at the time. So it was a long fucking time Damn. ago. Ninety nine, I think. Oh fuck! Twenty years just having a lot of sex. Imagine that fool. <laughs> that fool hired a whole private investig. Yeah, yeah, right. If they really f- hired someone that was privately investigating if there was any sexual harassment, they would have came across those fucking inappropriate shit that was happening to that pref- that girl we were talking about a couple of weeks ago. Fuck. It's all catching up. You can't hide from the truth. Like I always say. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, he was one of my favorite wrestlers. But um, there's a lot of like sexual harassment going on at like Disney and at Nickelodeon and oh, all these fucking... you know what? You know, it just yeah. used to happen a lot in like show business. You know that they're making a documentary on Dan Schneider, the guy from Nickelodeon. Dude, that the guy's guy a that creep. Likes yeah, yeah, that the guy, iCarly guy. Dude, that guy created like iCarly. He did a lot and of shows, a bunch of, sh- and they were really good shows. Yeah, you know, but who would have thought that the dude was like, you know, a, a perv, creep, a perv, a creep, low pedophile. Yeah. Like, I, and I don't know if he's like been convicted of anything, but like there was yeah. like a like a. Cause I seen like the the documentary on like YouTube and he's in the jacuzzi with like these like girls like uh-huh. the the young actresses but yeah. he has his shirt on and he's all fat like <laughs> <laughs> like bro I don't know this is funny so that's weirder than Michael Jackson having his those kids over at his house you think they're both pretty weird yeah they're they're both weird Dan Schneider is definitely way more like. <laughs> Um, More weird, like pedophile for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gives off that vibe a lot stronger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Didn't something else happen with them recently? Recently, I don't know. I don't know about like Nickelodeon. Recently. I think I seen something. Well, yeah, I just saw you. they're making a documentary on him. Yeah, on on him. Yeah, that's literally who I'm talking about. He made like Ariana Grande do like a weird video with like, like her feet. Yeah, and well, then like water, putting water on herself, like squirting herself with water. Like, yeah, it was weird. It was really weird, but like she had to do it, like for like Con- contract obligations, huh? Yeah, shit like that. Ah, must have been the fine print. Oh yeah, they are <laughs> making a, creating a toxic work environment. Docu series. Oh, no, what's it called? There's, there's a work. weird name to it. What's it say? Uh, where? Talk about a toxic work environment, yo. Send that to me. Let's fucking play. Dude, wait till they hear the weird shit that happens on here with the LSDP. <laughs> yeah, well, Monty makes me uncomfortable. What we do to the intern. That fool looks like Drake from Drake <laughs> and Josh, kidding. huh? I mean, from uh, Josh. Oh, that fool created Drake and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Josh. He's like, I'm going to take this little fat fuck and make a me. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to make a mini me. <laughs> In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. It wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. Oh, they were getting slimed, all right. <laughs> to get slimed? Are they not indicted on that, that young folks thing? Nickelodeon's golden boy. <laughs> he created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers yeah, I of bet child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Come on, get to the good part. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Work environment, harassment. What the fuck? 
how safe can any what is going on in that environment there would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set Bam. What the fuck? These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon all in a short amount of time. Hey guys, what are you for you? It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. I was crying. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It was a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. Work environment. Fuck. Fucking weirdo, yeah. Damn. What do you think he had in those bags? He just had the yeah. girls' names on it. That's it. No, well, something was in the bag. Yeah, they didn't know. say that part. What could he have? Maybe like their socks or something. Some weird shit like that. It's pretty dark. It's yeah, nice. that is. Fuck. It's just weird, man. Like <laughs> the socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it, bro. <laughs> the lipstick. Maybe like a like a piece of their hair or something. Some DNA. Some yeah, I'm a clone this. <laughs> I like, know a guy. Isn't that uh, the whole... Uh, Get a sock. <laughs> <laughs> well, he liked feet, bro. What the oh, fuck? yeah. What the fuck? Damn, I forgot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's not the same as a foot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah. Money yeah. would know. Yeah. yeah they should, they should, oh, it's called Quiet on the Set. Quiet on the Set. Ooh, that's a good name for that. Fuck. And then, yeah, we didn't find out until, like, after it's all barely now just getting exposed yeah. to us. You know who's got some answers? Ariana Grande's got some answers yeah, yeah. for us. Oh, and she's been going through some wild shit, too, like. Recently? She'd be, like, looking all sick and shit. Damn. Like, sleeping with, like, married men and, like, all that shit. Oh, you know? shit. Some, some little, I don't know, some weird shit going on over there, too. I don't know. Have you guys ever heard that, like, and there's no facts here, but have you ever heard that? When the, when someone gets like a, the R word, right? Yeah, uh, they're, they're more sexually active. That or like a, sometimes they say that they, their voice or they oh they, they say like babyish. Yeah, and Ariana Grande's voice is, and I'm not trying to say that she got R word, but her voice is so like high pitched and little girlish. You know, like I have I have heard that. Oh, I see what you mean. There's no facts on this, but I think I have heard that statistic or. And I'm like, damn, bro, maybe she was, yeah. Especially if she's a Nickelodeon kid, now yeah, it even sounds maybe. even more weird. It, it does add up, you know, if you are if you consider that to be, like, true. She is one of the elites. It does, it does fit huh. the description. She uh, is one of the elites. And she'd be, like, doing weird shit, like, jumping from, like, engagement to, like, a different engagement, like, in a small And every man is, like, every man she goes for is, like, a fucking disaster, huh? Pete Davidson, well, Mac Miller. She's a very, uh, very beautiful young lady. So yeah. I don't blame them for folding, but nah, at the same time, maybe she's like a problem, bro. Yeah, two things could be true. Maybe like, yeah, maybe if you're hearing this, anyone don't get in a relationship with Ariana Grande. Damn it! Something that was my plan this whole time. <laughs> something bad happens every time. You know how she's like. Uh, no, it went really good for Pete Davidson. No, nah, it? wasn't he on like a drug addict after that? Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> and he ended up with Kim K. Oh. And then he fucking tattooed a woman's name. A small price to pay for salvation. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't like Ariana Grande destroy Big Sean's like whole career too? Nah, she didn't destroy it. She tried. For I mean, a little bit. I guess she was trying to get. Where's him to Big Sean at? Yeah. Haven't heard of him since Ooh, Ariana Grande. Yeah. She destroyed him, man. Damn. Finish him. The recent guy too He got divorced With his wife well, Ariana has that Effect on men dude She's got that Kim K effect. She's got a gripper huh <laughs> A gripper I've never heard that one before A gripper She's got the Kim <laughs> K effect bro She fucks your life Well the Kardashian effect I guess right mm. Fuck up your life Every time you fuck with her Interesting Not my life There could be some truth to that Yeah And, and I mean She is one of those big dogs Like you said right yeah. One of the elites. So that's what he said. She could be groomed from like the Nickelodeon ages. And now she's a groomer. Hmm. And then these people just go. To, then these are all conspiracies, no facts. These people go missing because 
they don't like they're like anti whatever she's trying to push and she figured it out right yeah we can't do that Ariana fuck you <laughs> <laughs> she's that toxic she gives me that vibe bro yeah. and she's Latina oh no and she's Latina damn, damn. dude toxic Latina uh, good at singing Laz I need to know What's up with you bro What I need to know What's up with your goat Oh, oh Drake <laughs> <laughs> well, I know The I, elephant I, in the I, room I haven't, I haven't heard But I heard, no he, I heard he's got a baby arm Between his legs <laughs> It's your background. Huh? It's your background. That's my background. It's, it's, it's the last new screensaver. <laughs> and my head's the tip. Uh, <laughs> smiling. <No. laughs> nah, bro. That's a wild day uh, I image. Zandre tried to play me and send the fucking picture on the on the thing. I'm like, this guy, I'm not pushing on the on that group link. chat. How to send the link. Mine, you pushed on it, huh? These fools are lying and saying that they didn't push on it. They fucking pushed I on it, I didn't push bro. on it, bro. I, as I know for sure, no, fucking pushed on it. Not because he, said he went to go see Reddit chewing Madonna's fucking body, but he didn't see. His, nah, his but that's because cock. I follow cartel shit on fucking. I don't look up. You saw Drake's your goat's dick. Cock. I don't look up Drake's dick on you fucking s- Reddit, bro. You looked up your goat's cock. I definitely <laughs> see. <laughs> Pull out your phone right now. Well, Mister over here. Then if I saw mine, you saw yours, right? Then you just see Kanye West's not too long ago. I didn't. I, I didn't. didn't. I, I never. I never saw Kanye's leak. You see how defensive he, he sent, got. He remember when we were talking about that leak? Def- remember when we talked about that. Defensive that, thing? that one's private That was for me only <laughs> For my eyes only <laughs> For my well, eyes only Since you saw both well, who, who, Who's packing more heat Yeah money Who is I, I didn't see the Kanye one <laughs> <laughs> the that's, that's, that's a good question though oh, We'll have that shit. debate Right here right now <laughs> Kanye or Dre <laughs> I, feel, I feel Let us know in the comments guys <laughs> I feel bad for Fucking that girl That leaked that shit bro Why do you feel bad for it? Her life's about to be She's over She's gonna go missing No Could this Could this have been like uh, No Could he have leaked this himself? Cause how do you maybe get leaked? Maybe he's. I feel uh, like he was gonna get extorted. Maybe and he's got an album coming out soon or something. You think, mm-hmm. you think he's on the promo run? The promo. I, don't know. I feel like that's a crazy so promo run right there, bro. <laughs> because that, like a, some next level shit. I watched No Jumper right in a, a while back. They Adam Twenty Two had mentioned like, oh, I, this girl showed me fucking Drake's dick, and she's going around showing people, and now this shit's out. So that means she leaked it. Unless it was he Adam. was like, fuck it. Here it is, you know? Which I doubt what man does that, that Yeah, I don't think Drake would do that. <laughs> he just doesn't would seem you? like that type of guy. Would I what? If someone was scoring around showing your meat pick <clears throat> to other people, would you just fucking leak it? I, like, didn't I tell you guys that you, people would have to expose me? Like, there's no way I'm getting blackmailed, bro. <laughs> like, if you want to put that out there, go ahead. And like, it's, I'm not exactly. ashamed of that's it. What, that's what I feel Maybe like if I had did. a little, you know, pecker. <laughs> but but that's why I'm saying like whoever leaked that their life's over, bro. Drake's coming for everything. You think so? Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. I had it. Sorry, you said Pecker. Unless, unless he unless he just be sending out fucking cockpicks like crazy, then you know, <laughs> like Good Morning. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Wait, you guys don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> Good Morning was thinking about you, <laughs> as you can tell, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> What were you going to say? Because you like, oh, you mentioned you said Pecker. Pecker and, uh, just random, but I had a um, a wrestling coach and when he would like oh, uh, teach us how to like sprawl are you, or are you something. Okay? Are you okay? Be, yeah, his, we're talking about thing. pedophiles and Peckers uh, and, and Cox. <laughs> Your teacher? Yeah, well, my teacher. He, he would say, we he were would wrestling. Say, <laughs> he would say, Peck, Pecker on the neck. Like Who, who was that, Zell? Uh No, um, Bordner. Uh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Mm. Just, yeah, it was funny. Is everything all right? This is Everything's okay, though. Yeah. <laughs> Did he ever uh, touch your pecker? Do we no. have something there? No, I was never that lucky. Fuck. So we can't. That sounds like that. something someone just made up so they have an excuse to put a cock in your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pecker yeah. to the head. And, and he happened to be a <laughs> wrestling normal. coach. It's normal. Trust. <laughs> Relax. Uh, stop resisting. I'm a coach. Check his oil. Hey, <laughs> what did they say? Uh, uh, the worst thing when you go get a prostate exam is like. You're getting a prostate exam and then the doctor puts both his hands on your shoulders? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I hate when that happens. And then then the other one is... And then you find out he's not even a doctor? (laughs) Wait, this is your friend's house. What are we doing here? (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, bro, haven't me once. I don't like to talk. And about you know, it. you know what's even worse if uh, if, let's say you're gonna. Go, and I'm too young to know, but I heard someone say when you go get a prostate exam, and the doctor comes out and he doesn't have a hand, he just has a stub. <laughs> 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 Imagine it's the guy from the scary movie. It's Captain Hook. <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> no, just a stub, you know, like yeah, just cut off. yeah, yeah. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, well, quite the expedition we we've had today, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's on his medieval shit right now. <laughs> this was too I high. Like it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, should we get some questions? Do we have do any it. more topics? Let's do some questions. Yeah. yeah, I think I have one or two here. Uh, first question: When is the last time that you guys cried? Oh fuck! When was the last time I cried? Okay, I'll go first because mine was probably recent. Mine was recent. I cried like a couple days ago because, bro, I like I spanked my kid right, and I felt like shit for it. I didn't do anything crazy. I just like one of those white people spanked like, no, you you can't do that type shit. So, and I felt like shit for like a couple days. I told my wife. I, it was bad bro I texted my wife In the morning like Hey You gotta figure it out Like I don't wanna hit him I hated I hated getting hit as a kid You know Yeah And he was being good After he got spanked And I felt even worse Cause I was like Damn is this really what I gotta be doing For you to be fucking good And then a couple days later He wasn't listening And I didn't wanna Fucking spank him again And I just was like Fuck I need to get out of here bro Like What am I supposed to do For this kid I it was just like a, I guess like a dad thing I needed to fucking figure out. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do? I don't want to fucking beat my child. <laughs> you know? No, yeah, yeah, good, good. You shouldn't. You so shouldn't I like cried out of frustration. That was the yeah, last time yeah. I cried. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, what about you? So you said you just recently cried. Yeah, I cried over... Um, Spilled milk? No, I was I was, <laughs> I was mourning my dead uncle. Oh, fuck. Of course, you had to say something like that. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Being honest, I, I was. I, I was. feel I was you. I feel you. A couple days ago, yeah. Damn. Damn. That was the last time I cried. They uh, they wanted to know. Did so you I'm did you did you get it out though? Yeah, I got it on my That's system. Good. Hey, though. good cry. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, good cry is like a. You release all this energy. You yeah, know, it was like, good. It, it was more of like a. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. All right, Zandre, like the that. man's man. You said a couple years ago. What was it for? Fuck, dude. I just had like a lot of shit happened like three years ago in my life all at once at the same time, you know. And I cried. <laughs> and I remember driving home and I was like, "There's no way this is my fucking life." Like, like it was just like overwhelming. I was like, "Nah." Yeah. I did one of those fucking cinematic ones, like, "Ah, fuck." fuck. Yeah. Fuck. It was one of those. <laughs> it was one of those. Laz is selling it, yo. But he it knows was about like, cinematic. But it was like, yeah, I had to release no, all I, that I, shit. I've had know? a couple of those. You know, like, there ain't no fucking way. <laughs> nah, yeah. for sure, bro. Yeah. It, it was sucks. a lot of shit, you know. It sucked. But you got, everyone goes through that shit, you know what I mean? For a lot sure. of people, like, that's, that's the thing about today's age. Like, it's very hard to be out here and be like, yo, yeah. you know, show that side, you know, because some people, like, some people honestly really don't care, you know, and some people <clears throat> do care, but like, that's not something that we put in the front face of everything. Like, but people have emotions like this regularly, you know, like people cry all the time, you know, but yeah. it's not something that like you, you're, it's not something I guess like that people p- promote or, you know, mm. but it's a real thing to being like a human, you know, like we all have emotions, we all have yeah. our ups and downs, you but know, like what, here's the, here's the crazy thing though. Like, yeah. because look, after you cried this was years ago like what happened I bet I bet you're not in that same situation anymore I bet your life is a lot different now you're kind of more where you want to be now you get it so yeah you these emotions are normal you know I was sad over my uncle but after I cried I felt good I felt like oh like you know everything was all right. like I'm gonna get through this yeah exactly I was happy like after it all so like don't be afraid to cry it's okay you know it's okay to cry and let it out sometimes sometimes I'll be keeping it in you know but yeah of course we're we're men we it's like 
we do that a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah. you gotta let the thug sh- tears go. You yo. suppress that shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, just let it build up inside you till you commit a heinous act and go crazy. I'm <laughs> kidding, <laughs> <laughs> but it's real, you know. Spinning, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's real. You feel me? Like, yes, you gotta let that shit out every now and again. You know? For sure, it's yeah. all good, you know. You know? Uh, well, good. Yeah. The other yeah, question yeah. That I had that's what y'all was, wanted. That's what yeah, y'all yeah. wanted, right? A little bit LSDP <laughs> therapy. <laughs> Uh, the next question was a uh, so- one song suggestion. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go with what I've been listening to right now. There's a song called "Joint" by Money Sign Suede that I like. Joint, yeah, definitely something like that. Since, since the Drake leak, all, all I've been listening to is Drake nonstop. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm recommend. Um, Hell yeah, fucking right by Drake. <laughs> I did feel some type of way about listening to Drake like for like two days. I was like, oh, I can't ah, really put this shit off. He's like, his dick is in my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is that, Chris? My chip is in my brain or my brain is in my chip? Pause. <laughs> Pause. Chip in my brain. There's a brain in my chip. Yeah, I <laughs> Song recommendation? Uh, second guessing by Pity Party Girls Club. Very cool. Yeah. All right. You got any questions? Uh, no, I don't think I do. Really? You 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 said you were gonna save some from last week. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, I, I asked those on my other part. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, there, I think there was another one. Sorry. It's, yeah. it's somewhere in my. I think I have the other one too. <laughs> well, in the meantime, while we wake, I'm going to go ahead and tell a little joke. Okay, okay, go. Cool. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a joke. <laughs> but, um. What is the pickup line that would work on you? That would work on me? Yeah. Like if a girl were to come up to me and just be like. <laughs> Not all at once. They're, they're. I don't know. I feel like a lot of things might work on me, low key. <laughs> I'm a little whore. A, a girl talking to me? Oh. Nah, um, a little whore. <laughs> a pickup line like, hey, so are you from Tennessee? Like that kind of shit? Yeah. Like, or someone like, con- I would say someone complimenting like a smile or, I don't have good eyes, but something like that. Like I guess. Someone would be like, Is, hey, you got something in your eye. Oh, well, never mind. It's just a sparkle. That, like, that would work for you? Yeah, definitely work on me. Yes. Say something about my smile. Oh my god, you're so funny. Oh, your teeth are <laughs> oh <my> cricket. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no questions. I can't no? find it. No. Uh, what pickup right. line will work we'll on you? Use. What pickup line will Come work on? Come on, it's Valentine's Day. We gotta sign off with some love Ooh. here. Uh, let's see. Honestly, bro, I'm Zooey Mama. I don't know. You're anything, looking pretty. Anything would fucking work on me. To be honest, like, oh hey, like. It's all about the delivery. Yeah, yeah. You can think will work on you. But a lot. Yeah, that's the, what. It's more about the said, energy. Yeah. The fact you had balls to come up to me is enough. Right? Yeah, I, I, that's all I need. You yeah. know, just, <laughs> just need you to have some balls. That's all. So if you're like, if you, well, I wasn't gonna go up to you, so I'm glad you did to me. Yeah, even if you're just like. <laughs> If you say, hey, how are you? I'm going to think you're madly in love with me. I'm just in my my pants. Hey. (laughs) No cap, you know? Yeah. It's like when you go to a restaurant and the waitress is being awfully nice and you're like, oh, dude, she's on my cock. Dude, that's me. Every restaurant I go to. (laughs) I think she works in a hospitality business. Let's not get started with money in restaurants. Uh, well, it's a Valentine's Day. Yeah. Make sure you guys get your girl some little flowers. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. That's Just, crazy, you yeah, know? Yeah. Show some love. I think it's more about, about the person that you're with, you know? Yeah. Who, do you, who are you going to share that day with? Who are you going to share that sentiment with, you know? Yeah, yeah, but there's also people that are like, ah, we've been together forever. She doesn't like that anymore. Oh, it's dude. Like, bro, trust that's me. That's very dangerous. Very dangerous game to play. Yeah, I don't advise that. Uh, like, make sure you get your girl some thing even even your girls get your guys something bro like it works both ways you know it's a day of love it doesn't it's not the day of love for women there's already a day for that shit <laughs> this is yeah, like the day of love for general. everyone yeah, yeah like make sure you guys treat each other well I, I i agree with that make some babies 
Never believe your woman. Scorpios. Never believe your woman when she says she doesn't want anything. Because best believe her homegirls are getting something. And oh, dude, <laughs> she's gonna oh, refresh. No, she's gonna good. refresh your timeline. Yep. You're cooked, buddy. She's in, she clicks, yeah. starts clicking on those stories. It's, it's over. over. She's yep. gonna feel way bad. My my mm-hmm. baby daddy's a bum, or like my boyfriend's <laughs> a fucking whack. Like what, what even if she doesn't say it, it's gonna come to her head. And even if she filters that out, she's gonna think like, what, damn, what is they're really say? shitting on there's me really, right now. There's really good uh Rizzler snipers out there yo. yeah 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 personally me oh I'm let me cook did your man get you something here do I gotta do it <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm telling you hey all right you, you gotta, gotta be careful on the gram <laughs> all right make sure you guys even Instagram got your bitch if you Dude. ain't got no money pick a fucking rose off from the the fucking rose garden do something One I've done rose, that before you know quite effective yeah it's more general generous yeah it I gives mean. off more of a notebook vibe it does you know check out the notebook wear a condom or, or don't yeah I want to be unique out here I want to be one of the only Scorpios you know mm. don't wear Saving all if the you don't yourself. if you don't wear a condom make sure you pull out you don't need a kid at this age I'm assuming okay. or at this time there's a there's a whole ass uh, what's it called the uh, rese- recession coming yeah <laughs> allegedly I don't believe any of that shit no more nah we're, we're all chilling. cooked <laughs> as far as I know we're in it already but ladies and gentlemen I just want to tell you guys, you know, thank you. Thank you so much. Brolin times three, huh? Brolin times three. You don't know. You don't know. Looking at dick like oxtails off the bone.